All right, so I want to demonstrate a double click. Um, we're going to go ahead and let me highlight this at F1. We're going to launch this tape calc program. And uh, I'm going to get a little bit of the words, the letter there. I think that's a good idea. Move away, F1. Um, I like to first display matches. Okay, that's the only one. You can see it found one. It's right there. Um, we could try to test it, and it's going to go click it once, and it highlighted it. Now, that actually would probably break this, right, because we've just changed the color. Let's see now if it displays matches. Oh, it still found it. Interesting. Even with that background color change, it's still able to, to find it, which is awesome. I was worried that uh, it wouldn't find it because we changed the colors. Um, normally, of course, it wouldn't be highlighted, so I wouldn't worry about it. And then we're going to set this to click count two. Um, we're gonna go ahead and leave it as control click. Let's see if that works. I've done some testing and often the um, the control clicks just, they, they're hit and miss. Um, and the double click for some reason also is the same way. So we'll test it. There we go, went and launched it for me. Great. Um, but if that hadn't worked, I would have turned this on to be an actual click and then you'll see my mouse move down there. Goes down there and clicks it. So that's how you can go in and set the uh, the double click. If you, by the way, I noticed this, if you're on move, and it makes sense, it's on move, this becomes disabled. So don't get confused if you're trying to change the click count, because if you're on move, there of course are no clicks. All right, cheers.